Hello all and welcome to Wild Crochet Designs. My name is Mary, coming to you with the video vlog we've all been waiting for. Ah, uh, Now that is, if you are joining us new, firstly welcome, uh, that is a vest that we are creating here on the channel that you guys will be able to create once I have finished the design. Now I'm doing a lot of screaming today and you know what guys I am so far behind with a lot of things so I'm not going to edit much today <laughs> so all the and ifs and, blah, 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 and all that sort of jazz that'll all be in there sorry guys uh, in the meantime let's talk quickly about the vest you saw the picture there on the um, start of the video it's simply divine is it not now you guys know the yarn you guys chose it with me we worked out over here all the different colors and the different styles and the different types of yarn from acrylics to cottons to wools to whatever and you guys chose passion flowers yarn now passion flower there she is right there i hope you can see that now passion flower if you didn't know this the lovely lady Roz from passion flower i did an interview with her maybe two or three years ago maybe um, I can't even remember what it was now it was a while back in fact I will leave that interview link to that interview in the description box down below the very top link you see will be that interview check out that interview and I think I haven't seen the interview for a while I think this yarn may be in that interview <laughs> I really think it may be in that interview and I think I may have just noticed a mistake. Don't you love it? No, I don't. I didn't. <laughs> She's not going to edit this, guys. No editing. All right. So let's talk quickly about Roz. She's a lovely lady. I met her during a uh, kind of a stitch event thingy at um, Unwind Craft Cafe, which is a little cafe here in Nidri, Melbourne. And I met her at one of those events. And I tell you what, she is the absolute sweetheart. You cannot fault her. She's a lovely lady. Her yarn is beautiful. Her mannerisms are absolutely divine. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. But she's just the sweetest person. If you ever got to meet her, you will see it in the interview anyway. She is the sweetest person. Um, and she has her own YouTube channel, which I think is called... Oh, it's actually called Passion Flower. But I think her naming of her... Uh, videos are called um, The Farming Life or something like that. She has a little farm and on the farm she has a quite a few little things on there. Let's try that again. Quite a few little animals. I'm not going to edit guys. Quite a few little animals on there and I went to visit the farm that time and we had the interview and I had a really good time. And she's so lovely and and to if you didn't know this, the interview only had three mistakes in the whole recording of that interview. All three of them were me. <laughs> <laughs> so she's she's perfect at the interview as well so look what can I say but anyway this is a lovely lady her yarn is called flowering gum the details are on the back and I will read them to you now uh, it is a harvest DK weight which is a three weight or um, uh, an eight ply now just a quick heads up I believe she uses a different superwash now but it's very much the same put it that way it's very similar okay it is a hundred percent superwash wool eight ply or dk weight or three weight overseas this skein is approximately well we'll say 100 grams approximately 217 meters and 237 yards or 237 yards now i'm not sure exact the exact amount that we will need and when I say the exact amount look I really don't know but I'm going to give you a rough idea of what you will need today week we're doing another video vlog and I'll have the full information in that this is a rundown of what you will need giving you an opportunity if you wanted to purchase yarn you could or if you wanted to go through your stash you may find the amounts that you need in your stash it saves you buying it but if you want to lash out and splurge and buy yourself something nice you could do that too or if you want to purchase from the lovely Roz make sure you message her I'll give you the details in a minute because I believe she did leave a message on the live that we chose the yarn with uh, stating that there wasn't I don't think that's actually that, let's try that again that she doesn't actually have that dyed at the moment so if you did want 
to purchase that yarn, the same as us, which I'll show you in a minute, then you would need to message her and ask her so she can actually dye the yarn for you. And it won't take long. She's very quick and she's just simply, simply divine. I just love it. Did I say I love it? Um, <laughs> flowering gum, the yarn is called. And you saw the image in the post there, but I'll show you again. This is one side of the front, which is not even, oh, it is past halfway. All right. And that's the base of it. Right now, the vest is only waist length. If you wanted to lengthen it, I will talk about lengthening it in the tutorial. OK, if you want to make it a hip length, I'll tell you how many more stitches to make for your size if you wanted yours longer. But for um, the vests, pattern itself will be a waist length pattern. It is an open vest, which will look like that. And, and I told you the stitch was basic. It's double crochets all the way across, except we're working downwards with our stitch. And oops, wrong side. Um, oh, it is the wrong side. No, it's the right side. Yep. We're working downwards with our stitch. So that is what it looks like right now. So we're not I'm nowhere near finishing. I still got it. Whoops, let me straighten that up a little. I've still got to go all the way up to about, say, there. And then we're doing some rows of ribbing or some sort of um, a border, whether it's single crochets, half doubles, or I, I'm hoping for a ribbed row. That's so long as I've got enough yarn for mine. I will show you the ribbed row in the tutorial. So if I run out of yarn, it doesn't matter. I will tell you um, closer to the date whether I have enough yarn for mine. I believe I do. The way it looks, it looks like I need about 350 to 400 grams worth for a two extra large. It's not for me. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I started off a large at the beginning. Not even. I was just under a large at the beginning of the year. I'm a two extra large. It's only been a few months. <laughs> I'm going to have to start working out, yeah? But that's not a story in itself. But in the meantime, don't, don't stress too much where your seat open here because that's going to have ribbing as well. So it's going to close up a little bit there. It's going to close up a little bit here. And I've already started, and you can see there, started dropping the sizes, okay? To, to mark the V. And once we mark the V, we get to a certain length, it's really very basic. From there to there, from there to there, is just plain double crochets. Seriously. Then you've got to do a little bit of increasing. It's not difficult. On the base, I've done a different stitch across there to keep it straight in case I run out of yarn and we don't do a border on the base, which you probably won't do a border on the base. But don't quote me, you know, if I've got plenty of yarn left over, I might play and do something. One never knows. Um, <laughs> one never knows with me, do we? Um, and you will have the ribbed area on the underarm and you will have the ribbed area on the front all the way down as well. So there is plenty of ribbing on your piece. If, like I said, I run out of yarn for me, then I'll do single crochets or half doubles or something. Again, don't stress too much. If you look at this vest here, this is half double crochet the first row and then the next two rows are single because I was running out of yarn. And to do the ribbing, it would have taken more yarn. So I just did it like this. And actually, it doesn't look half bad. So there you go. Anyway, let's talk about the yarn again. Um, from extra small to, say, medium, you would probably suffice with 350 grams or if we had to talk meterage, um, let's see, 217 by 300 by 3, mm, what is that, 600 and something, you would suffice with about 600 to 700 metres. Um, and even, I'm not sure what that is in yards, I'll pop that somewhere here, <laughs> here somewhere in a minute. Um, so otherwise you may need to work on more. I think that'll be enough. I think that's plenty. With If you're doing the same as mine, if you are doing a hip length, where I say, right, if you want to do hip length, add another 18 or whatever it is, 15. I haven't really decided yet on stitches. Um, then you need to remember that and purchase more yarn, all right? The other thing is, and I'll state this, and I will state it over and over and over until I go blue in the face, 
do a gauge <laughs> a gauge swatch i will give you the gauge swatch details we may even do the gauge swatch in a tutorial we've done it before with the 10 ply or a, or a four weight yarn or an aran weight so we might do it with in fact i think we will we will do it together in the tutorial be part of the you know the vest making the vest yeah the um buttons 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 i said uh three buttons three to five buttons it's looking about three to five buttons now i found some buttons in my stash i'm so excited i bought these buttons years ago we are talking don't even go there um january of 2020 we're not going to talk about that year <laughs> i don't even believe it exists um but, but i found five of these buttons that i'm going to show you let me just show you one it's double-sided too so you can have a choice of whether you want to use them one side or whether you want to use them the other there you go check that out it's a heart button that's one side and that's the other that's the main side that you can use it on um or there's this one here which is a little bit bigger, so we may need to make buttonholes, yeah. Or, and these are the options I have, yeah, there is that one. I don't know if you can see that. That's got a little bit of brown on it. We'll put them next to the, the vest, yeah. And then there's this one here. I don't really like this very much. I picked it up to pick it up, but I don't really like it. So if we're going to put them near the vest, that's one, yeah. That is two oh i love that color it's button seems to be a little big for this vest but it's a beautiful color yeah um and the little love hearts i'm loving them so far i really love these love heart buttons now i have two four five but i think the way it's looking we may only need between three and five and you can you can stretch it out if you like and we'll talk about that closer to the date um once i finish that front i'll be able to see how far down we go and how many buttons will fit downwards um, but until then I can't really tell you like I said this video vlog is a rough idea it's actually a vlog to show you the stitch and the way we're going to do it now I mentioned on the channel that I have never and this is absolutely true never made a pattern with just plain double crochet never I've never made a top or a jump up with just plain. It's either double with a single, double with a half double, double with a treble, treble with a chain, double treble, front post, back post, whatever it is, it's all fancy. But I've never done a basic in my whole life. I have never, isn't that sad? And I've been living a long time. I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a very long time. Um, and so <laughs> she's so naughty. And so I've just don't understand why I've never done it. This, I've done this, right? But this is not exactly a double all the way through. These are doubles with some halves, some singles, some splits, some all sorts of weird things. <laughs> some weird shells down the bottom, you know. There's a lot of stuff happening with this one. It's just, it was made wrong, so I can't do it on the channel, right? Um, it was my, my pattern, but I did it wrong. Don't worry about it. This one I'm doing right. <laughs> don't you love it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> um so it's just weird to know that i've never done just a plain double crochet weird and the reason it's weird is because funnily enough double crochet not only was the first stitch that we learn in crochet um well i do anyway um is my favorite stitch <laughs> it is my favorite stitch so i'm kind of thinking why have i not made anything with just plain when I say just plain, nothing added to it. Although we are adding a ribbing to it later. <laughs> but it'll still be uh, a double crochet ribbing. You know, it'll be like um, I'm thinking at this stage, front post, back post, front post, back post in double crochets, maybe two or three rows, give or take a little bit, depending on our yarn. But that's what I'm thinking it might change. So don't quote me on it. It might even be half doubles. I'd rather not. I'd rather leave everything doubles. But, you know, we have time to talk about that um, and we can discuss this on Tomorrow Morning's Live. Don't forget, we still have a live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. That's our last live on a Saturday morning for um, the next four weeks. Because in the next four weekends, we, yours truly, is doing a market stall at a place called Pipeworks Market. That's an older market that's reopened in a new venue 
it used to be around 10 years ago and my children were very, very young. Um, but now they're older and all of a sudden they're reopening again. Um, and I have all that information for you on next week's video vlog. You'll have everything from addresses to spots to times I'm arriving to times I'm leaving. You'll have everything. When you, uh, if and when you decide to visit our location there, I will be there every day, every Saturday and every Sunday for four weeks. I will be there all day. So if I'm not at the table and someone else is serving you, just get them to message me if you want to meet me. Just get them to message me. I'll just be having lunch or something <laughs> or taking a coffee break. But get them to message me and I'll come straight back. I'll only be leaving the table to visit the ladies or <laughs> to eat or drink. So otherwise I'll be sitting at the table most of the time. Um, I tell a lie, I'll also be shopping. <laughs> there's other things there. And I know there's some yummy foods. There's lots of entertainment. Um, Saturday the 17th will be the first day. But its opening will, because it's opening that day for the first time in 10 years or whatever it is, 12 years maybe, uh, it may not be as busy as much. But if you've got nothing to do, come over to uh, Pipeworks Market and we'll, Again, I'll give you all the information next week and see me there at the market. And I mentioned to you guys last week that if you come to my table and you want to purchase something and it's already discounted, I will still give you as a subscriber here on our channel a further 10% discount. But you must say I'm a subscriber on your channel and then you get a further 10%. But if I'm not there and you say that, I'll make sure I tell who is ever at the stand to give you a further 10%. So it's, it's no one else gets that further 10%, only our subscribers on the channel. All right, now I don't know why I got sidetracked there, guys, but you're looking again between three to 400 grams of yarn. The hook that Passion Flower uh, said would be best suitable for is usually... She hasn't actually stated on here, but usually the 8 ply or the DK weight or the 3 weight yarn calls for a 4 millimeter hook. Yours truly is using the Clover uh, 4 millimeter hook, but again, you need to do that gauge swatch with me. And if you find that your tension is totally different than mine, you need to drop your hook size or go up your hook size, and we'll talk about that when we do our... Um, gauge swatch. Uh, you will need scissors, obviously. You will need a sewing needle. You won't need much sewing in this case because the only sewing you will need is when you attach a new yarn, which is fantastic. Uh, there will be no cutting. I'm lying. There is cutting. Yes, around here somewhere with one of the fronts because the way it works is the front is worked up and down, up and down, up and down. When it gets to around here, we need to add for this part so one keeps going up the other one you need to attach and then crochet up but we won't worry about that we'll talk about that when we start so if you had a 200 gram skein of yarn if you were to use some of bendigo woolen mills yarn your 200 grams would make that whole back <laughs> but you will be cutting i think at the back too i haven't decided yet because i don't know what i'm doing for the back <laughs> uh, no no it's it's true i do know i no, i don't no, I do. I know what I'm doing. It's pretty much the same as the front, only it doesn't have the V. Yeah, so you'll need a bit more yarn for the back. Still, if you had a 200 gram skein, I think you could get through the back. Extra small, small and medium could get through the back with not much cutting. Up and down, 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 up and down. Up and down, up and down. Oh, you might need cutting. I don't know. <laughs> Leave it with me, guys. Leave it with me. Um, at this stage, this is what we're looking at. I'm loving the basic double crochet straight down. You could have done it this way as well. Yeah, boring. <laughs> Listen to me, boring. Um, I wanted to do it down. I think the look of, of lines going down in front of you is actually quite pretty uh it does make you look thinner but don't tell anyone um it's actually quite pretty and um yeah i'm loving it so we will do that let's see when mm. all right so this week oh i forgot to mention guys yesterday i um let's try this morning this morning when i did my live i mentioned that um we're doing our lining to the bag on monday 
But Monday in Australia is a public holiday and the house will be filled with people. So I won't have time to record. If I do get it recorded, it'll go up on Monday. But otherwise, the lining won't go up till Tuesday. That lining, I tell you, it's driven me batty. If you want to know what that is, for those joining us new, it's the bag, this one right here. Um, we've created this one. I'll pop the link to this bag in the description box down below. Now, we created this bag on the channel. Um... I don't remember when but we didn't do the little latch you see here with the button and nor did we do the lining and I'm going to be redoing the lining it's recorded and everything because I don't like the way it looks um when you see it from there <laughs> now I mentioned that on the live this morning so if you wanted to see this morning's live uh you can but this was supposed to have been done on Monday but now that we have a public holiday Monday. I forgot all about it. Uh, it won't happen until Tuesday. So that means um, I'm going to try and ram in as much as I can for the rest of the week when it comes to the reef and everything. So the vest will not be started this week. Sorry, guys. It won't be started until the following week, which gives me more time to see. Um, it gives me more time to work out the yarn and the amounts when it comes to the ribbing. I haven't sorted the ribbing part of the yarn out yet because I'm not really sure what I want to do for the ribbing. So I can't really give you the full amounts. Um, but this time next week, I'll have all the full amounts. You will have a video vlog this time next week. Exactly this time next week, you'll have a video vlog explaining all of this and explaining some pricing so i was supposed to do that with this video vlog i've run out of time and i apologize there but the pricing will happen next week if you're wondering what that is someone asked me a few weeks back how do you price um your items i'm going to show you two different ways i'm going to show you the second way is the way i do and then there's another way that you can use as well. You have an option of doing the two different ways. And I'm sure there's another way as well and another way and another way. But these are the two ways that I know and they will happen next week. In the meantime, guys, once again, if you wanted to order, I'm not going to do too much today. That was it. Just want to talk about the vest. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to order flowering gum, that's the color of this yarn. Yeah, it's a superwash DK weight wool, 100% superwash wool. If you wanted to order that, it's called Flowering Gum of Passion Flower. I will leave a link to her details in the description box down below. Uh, if you don't want to look there, it's www.passionedflower.com. But I will leave that link down there. It'll be easy for you to just click in more, click on the link and it goes straight to her her website and if you want it, I'm sure she's got a, um, a section there where you can ask her a question if you can't ask her the question there head over to Instagram she's actually on Instagram I talk to her uh, I message her through Instagram when I want to purchase something I say right I need 600 grams of that or 500 grams of this or 300 grams, and she usually works it out there and then I put the order through uh, so if you wanting to order that please speak to her um, I don't know how long she will take, but if she gets the orders in, she can push that through real quickly. So if you want to order through her, you can. If you want to use another yarn in your stash, use another yarn. Just make sure it is a DK weight. You can use wool, you can use acrylic, and you can use cotton. Uh, if you use the other, I'm using wool, okay? If you use the other ones like acrylic or cotton, it will sit differently. Just heads up there, yeah? It will sit differently. I tried this vest uh, a couple of weeks ago, part of this vest, using the this colour here. Um, I don't know if you can see that in that camera there. But using the acrylic yarn, and it was quite harsh. And it was very, like, can I use the word? Stiff? Dense? <laughs> if you will. And kind of, I look like a robot in it, right? <laughs> Whereas this makes you look... Um, soft it makes it look soft and sits nice I think cotton will be okay as well again it might be depending on the cotton if it's a harsh cotton like a dense cotton it will you know sit like that who <laughs> does I pull the face as well um, <laughs> if it's a soft cotton it will kind of sit a little you know floppy like which is fine too so you need to decide what yarn you're going to use and then you can go out and purchase all your little bibs and bobs like your buttons and your hook 
go through all your stash first, guys, when it comes to buttons, because we may only use three. And I don't want you going out spending all this money to buy. You can if you like. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's stopping you um especially buttons I, I love buttons um um purchasing all these buttons when really we only use three we might use four we might use five i don't know if you are using if you are creating the hip length version of the vest with us even though i'm doing the waist i will give you the instructions on how to do you know right up to the hip as well then uh you will need more buttons so just be wary of that that's it, guys. I don't want to say any more. I think I've talked enough. But this time next week, you will see the full version of the vest and you will actually know all the information that you will need for your vest. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today, guys, in talking about our vest with us. And thank you very much to you guys yourselves who chose a beautiful colour out of all that yarn I have on the shelves you guys chose this color. I give you credit. It has worked out simply divine. I wished I had more to make a cardigan instead of a vest. But anyway, we won't go there. That's a whole new tutorial in itself. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all the wonderful things that you, well, pretty much already do for me. Also, don't forget to join us on our lives at 4 p.m. Wednesday afternoons, 10 a.m. usually Saturday mornings, but for the next four weeks, it'll be 10 a.m. Friday morning, Melbourne, Australia time. Always marry that up with your country. And we have a lot of fun with the lives. You get all the information that you need. Sometimes we do a thing called yarn antics. That's usually on the Saturday morning, but it'll be on the Friday morning uh, as of next week. And you'll be able to choose the colour combination of the very next tutorial. Pretty much like what you see here. Thank you for joining me again and ciao for now. I can't wait to make the best. Oh, it's looking simply divine.